Good afternoon, this is UTV Live. Guns found in a Dublin post office depot today are thought to be part of the same consignment of weapons at the centre of a smuggling operation between Ireland and the United States, currently being investigated by police. The pistol and revolver were uncovered along with 30 rounds of ammunition. Four people, originally from Belfast and Cork, have been arrested and charged in the United States in connection with the alleged gun running, and a man and a woman are being questioned about the affair by police in Galway. The U.S. investigation is focused on attempts to send 26 high-powered handguns through the post to addresses on both sides of the border here. The Ulsterborn MP Kate Hoey has been given a new post in the Prime Minister's reshuffle of the government. She replaces Tony Banks as Minister for Sport. Sinn Féin President Gerry Adams today declined to reach a firm decision on whether his party will take part in September's review of the Good Friday Agreement. He said no one should underestimate the extent of the crisis. He's also offered to hold a series of meetings with the Ulster Unionist Party, if need be in private, to move the process forward. And he's appealed to the Irish government to get the agreement back on track. And given the faltering approach of the British government, there's a particular onus on the Irish government to continue to energetically pursue the implementation of all aspects of the agreement to defend and to advance the rights of all citizens in this island and of the people of Ireland as a whole. In addition, we believe that the two governments must seek to ensure that the UUP fulfills its obligations under the terms of the agreement, or if it refuses to do this, that the two governments must ensure the establishment under their auspices of meaningful institutions, including a range of all Ireland policy and implementation bodies. An influential committee of MPs has accused the government of complacency over fuel smuggling here, saying the trade funds paramilitaries and racketeers. The Northern Ireland Affairs Committee, in a report out today, revealed that £100 million in fuel duties is lost each year because of lower prices in the Republic of Ireland. The MPs have recommended that the fight against petrol and diesel smugglers should be tightened up. However, they find themselves unable to recommend subsidies for petrol retailers in the province. A Dutch system for aid in garages has been found to be against European Union law. A second Dublin man was jailed for life today after he was convicted of the murder of the crime reporter Veronica Gearan. Brian Meehan, who's 36, was found guilty of the killing. The panel of three judges at the Special Criminal Court in Dublin accepted evidence which placed Meehan at the scene of the murder. Miss Gearan, a journalist with the Sunday Independent newspaper, was shot six times as she waited at traffic lights in her car on the outskirts of Dublin in June of 1996. Uh, that's it for now. UTV Life is with you at half past five, and we're back for the news. UTV Live at six. The weather's next. And now the UTV weather. Your outlook for today and tomorrow together with Progressive, Northern Ireland's building society. Hey, it's going to stay dry for the next 24 hours or so, but rain is on its way. Not tonight, though. Large areas of clear skies are forecast, with some smaller, murky, misty bits below 10 Celsius. A dry, sunny start tomorrow, with high cloud making the sun appear rather hazy. The winds light and southeasterly in direction. Then in the afternoon, the risk of showers increases with western areas, the more likely to see any downpours. Warm again with a high 22 degrees, 72 Fahrenheit. And here's the summary. If you'd like more detailed information about the weather today and the week ahead, you can call us on 09001 505550.